Now, if you're a comic book fan reading this title, calm down, have a sip of water, relax. We're just having a discussion. Don't need the pitchforks, even though I know they're coming. But let's ask the question. What's up, Meisterville? Is manga better than comics? I would say yes. What? But only in one aspect and one aspect alone. Now what aspect is that? Is it the character and the character progression? Is it the storyline? Is it the consistency because there's only one writer dealing with the set of characters they created? No, it's the fact that in manga land it is the wild wild west and there are no dumb or non-selling ideas. In manga and by proxy anime you can legitimately have a character who is a combination of Lelouch, Yusuke, and Goku. Put them in a very, very bizarre setting and craft an entire story around it, which is likely to sell. Should it be pitched right? Comic book companies, in my personal opinion, you know, this is just an observation I've made. I don't have any evidence to back this up, but it just seems to me that they're comfortable staying in the lane that they're in. That's why we always get reboot new versions or alternate takes or we get the live action of this which also has a cartoon form and so on and so forth. It's always about rehashing out or refreshing old ideas. Which I mean is cool. I'm not against that. I totally like that. But it does feel like they've said we have our audience we have who we're selling to and we're not going to change that not for anybody and anything new that does come out still needs to be tied to the things that exist and i get it i get it okay i don't want my personal properties my favorite properties i don't want them to go away i don't want batman to not exist anymore or i don't want spider-man to go away but i do want new fresh ideas in the mainstream and they're out there struggling to get into the mainstream and i think it's something that needs to be addressed because that's where manga outshines comic books every single time you can get anything in manga and anime land and i legitimately mean anything and comic books can benefit from that model in my personal opinion i mean shout out to stan lee r.i.p stan the man lee before he passed i'm not sure i was reading i was watching a video of his where he was talking about working on a superhero and the setting was in india and it was apparently a superhero powered by the chakras i'll show a, i'm showing a clip right now and that idea really excited me as a comic book fan for stan lee to be expanding his reach like that which would have been crazy crazy insane and would have been a really really cool idea and i think that's the thing that allows manga to outsell comic books every time because yes it is fact manga outsells comic books across the world but i think it's just because manga is always open to a more diverse set of ideas now again this is just my personal speculation i don't have any proof that that's the case it's just from what i have observed so what do you think meisterville what what do you think let me know in the comment section down below let's have a conversation about this but i do not think that manga has better characters or better power sets or even better storylines to some degree you know i think that they each have their ways of telling a story and i think each way is great but where manga has always gotten comic books beat is just the diversity of ideas Look at that, you made it to the end of the video, you are spectacular. If you like this video, please hit that like, that share, that subscribe. Ring that bell for notifications so you know when I'm dropping more videos. I have my latest video on screen, I got my latest icon on screen, and I got a playlist you can click on if you want some more content. And I will see you all in other videos, because Masterman's gotta be out. Peace.